In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make a basic website. This honestly isn't as daunting or confusing as many people think it is, and you can actually get one together in less than 30 minutes. So let's start out by going to our page. And I've already installed a copy of WordPress onto this site. And as you can see, this, this doesn't really look very, very appealing to our eyes. But there, there are a few things we could do to the website in about 15 minutes that really spruce it up and make it look nice. The first thing we want to do is to change the theme. The theme is the blue blue banner you see here with the white text underneath and the links over on the size. All of that is determined by what the theme is. So let's go and open up another browser and type in WordPress theme. And here you'll see a whole list of themes that you can use for your website. And right off the bat, we can open up one. No idea how to say this, but let's take a preview of it. And in my opinion, this is much more appealing than what we have on there right now. Um, so within five minutes, you can download this, upload it, and you're ready to go. So I've already looked through the themes, and I found one that I would like to use. And it is called Peaceful Rush, right here on our desktop. So we're going to open up our file browser, go to the content folder, go to the themes folder, and then drag and drop it over into that folder. Now this is only going to take maybe a minute or so. It's already finished. Now we want to go in here and go to the images and you always find a banner image. Now the banner image is what shows up at the very top of the website. As you can see on this website, that is their banner image. We usually want a custom banner image and we did that in another tutorial. You can see one of our banners here. This is what we're going to use for this website, the Venice Beach Sunset Run. So let's go ahead and take that sunset and drag it down and drag it over into this folder. Now I already made sure that this header was the same size as this header. So let's go ahead and rename this to an old file. So banner old. And let's name this one banner. Okay, now that should be ready to go. So let's go back to our website and let's log in. You can go down here and click on the login, but we're going to take this feature away soon. So I want you to memorize this string. Up at the top, type in wp-admin. That stands for WordPress admin. Here, type in your username and your password. And now you're in a screen called the dashboard. Once in the dashboard, let's click on the far left on appearance. In the appearance, that's where you can choose a new theme. Here's our peaceful rush theme that we uploaded. And we aren't going to have this header that they have in there. We're going to have the custom header that we made for the fitness run. Click activate over here in the upper right. And now your current theme is peaceful rush. Let's go ahead and visit the site. So go ahead and see the difference that you see. This already looks 10 times better than the other page, just based on about five minutes of work. So in addition to having a new theme, we also need to have some pages and some content. So let's go back to our dashboard and let's click on pages. The first page you want to make is going to be the main page for the entire site. This is what everybody will see when they first come to your website. And I like to name this the same name as the actual site. So let's call it the Venice, Venice Beach Sunset Run. And I'm not going to take the time to put the content in yet, but this is where you'll put a lot of information about your run. For now, we'll just quickly fill it out, and we'll come back to that. After you have your text entered, 
we don't want to have a page that's bland, so let's go ahead and add a picture in there. In another tutorial, we also taught you how to go into Photoshop and have some interesting pictures. We don't want bland pictures like you see on most websites. After you have those pictures, go ahead and click the Add Image button here. And I usually have problems choosing this button, so we'll choose a browser uploader. Now click on Browse, and let's go to the f location of your files. We have ours on our desktop. And one of the pictures was of a runner on the beach. So let's open up that picture and upload it. This was actually taking, taken about a half a mile from where this actual run is, so it's very appropriate for this run. And now let's click Insert into Post. And now you see the runner right below all of our text. If you'd like to get a better idea of what this looks like, you can click on the corner here and drag this out, and it'll show you a full view of what the page will look like. Let's go ahead and publish this by clicking over here on the far right. And now we have our first page. Let's go back to visit the site to get an idea of what this looks like. It still looks the same, but if you look down in the far right, you see Venice Beach Sunset Run. Let's click on that, and now you see the picture with the information. I want this text to show up on the main page, not on some secondary page. So let's go back, back to our dashboard, and now let's click on Settings. In the settings, we're going to click on reading. And in the reading, we don't want our latest post to show up because this is more of a, con a content management website as opposed to a blog. So we're going to click on a static page. And we want the front page to show Venice Beach Sunset Run. And now let's save the changes. Now when anybody types in your website and they go to the Venice website, they'll automatically see the first post that we put up. In time, I'll add more information to that, but that's good for now. Now to get an idea of what you need for your other websites, it's always best to go to a website that has everything that you need. Our Santa Monica Boardwalk race is very similar to this Venice race, so we're going to look at its website to get an idea of what we need for the Venice race. Over here, you'll see all the pages. So let's go ahead and add the same pages that you see here into ours. We'll go back over to our dashboard, go to Pages, and click Add New. In here we'll put Directions, and for now let's just put Coming Soon. And let's publish that page. We'll click Add New. And we'll do this again for all of the pages that we need. Okay, so now I uploaded, I think, about eight pages. And when we click on Edit, you can see all your pages here. When you first install WordPress, it also gives you a default page called About. You can go ahead and change that, as you see I have. And if you made any problems, you can click on Edit, Quick Edit, Delete, or View to see what you did here. Instead of other races, let's say I want to change that name. Other MOV fitness races. I could click update and it'll go ahead and change that there. So right now all these pages are just placeholders. There's not any actual information in there, but it'll give us a better idea of what we're working with. So now let's go ahead and visit the site and see the difference. We already are looking like we have a pretty good site here. Down here you see all the pages, and you see our main page with our header and the about. This concludes our introduction to WordPress and how to design a static website with a program.